Hello, good evening. How are you? Good evening. Good evening. Welcome to the class. How are you doing today? Hello, good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Thank you, too. So thank you very much for that punctuality. I appreciate it. You know that the attendance for these classes is about the minutes as well. So it is very important that we are here on time. There are some students that are here in the class. Like, like I connect, like I try to connect like some minutes early and the students come here really quick. Appreciate that. I appreciate. Give me a second, you guys. I'm having. Problems. Okay, there we go. With this headset. Okay, anyways, so thank you very much for that punctuality. It is very important for me. I appreciate it a lot, okay? So let's continue today uh, with the topics we have because, wait, wait a minute. Because today is the last day to finish the section three, right? That section three, yeah. Because on Monday, today I'm going to send a report and then next week we need to finish the section five and the final exam so we can go again with the, wait a moment. Wait a second, you guys. Eh, my goodness, what is that sound? Suena como un, it sounds like a, like a hospital, right? Beep, beep, beep. Like it's the vitals. It's, mi it's microwave, microwave. Oh, okay. It sounded like the vitals, Sorry. the vitals of the heart. <laughs> okay, let me see. I have a message here. Karen says. Ah, okay, Karen. Thank you for letting me know. Overtime again. Okay. I got it. I understand. Okay, let's see. Let me open your attendance because I need to go with today's attendance. Let me see. I don't know why I'm having. Ustedes no están teniendo problemas con los navegadores de Chrome. No. Solo soy yo. Is it only me? 
no me gusta Chrome. Yo solo ocupo Mozilla. Yeah, estoy, eso estoy ocupando ahorita porque no, ya no Chrome. It's not. It's Chrome not... degrada el rendimiento. Ocupa demasiada memoria y abre muchos procesos. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, like, yeah. Voy a desinstalarlo porque sí me ha, me ha dado problema el día de hoy. I recommended Opera. Okay. Is, is Opera. Like the one from iPhone? No, 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 it's not iPhone. iPhone is Safari. No. Sorry. Safari. Yeah, okay. Very bien estable. Yeah. Okay, anyways. Well, I have Moxila, so Moxila is going to be. Okay, let me go with today's attendance. I just need to look up for your, what do you say? This module number five, let me see. Today's attendance. And actually, right now, um, I feel like Moxila is faster. Yes. Yeah, it seems like it. I was just used to Chrome. I was really used to it, but now I'm discovering that Moxila is better. <coughs> no. Wait a second. Está accediendo a los Please ¿Cómo? come back to my yate. Go to the ocean. What is it? Uh, come back to my yate. Who? Behind to me. <laughs> oh, you're in your, oh my God, of course. <laughs> you have a yacht. A judge. That's what you say in English. Judge. Oh, okay. Thanks. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Attendance. Adán Antonio Ramírez Aguirre. Carlos Amilcar Campos Palencia. Present. Daniel Enrique Sifontes Perdomo. Present. Edgar Edilson Reyes Portillo. Present. Edwin Alexis Pérez Hernández. Esmeralda del Rosario Portillo García. Gabriela Yamilet Ramírez Ceciliano. Present, okay. Jonathan Stanles Pérez López. Present, Miss. Jorge Ernesto López Rivera. Present, Miss. José Ernesto Alemán García. Karen Berenice Castro Avelar. Present. Marco Antonio eh, Vanegas Corleto Mario Antonio Reyes Verganza Present Mario Cristóbal Quintanilla Marlon Fabricio Flores Vargas Marvin Enrique Arguello Joaquín Mauricio Antonio Rivera Rojas, Miguel Ángel Cortés Campos. Present me. Okay. Hey, guys, remember, please, if you are a listener, always send the message. Why are you a listener today? Okay. Porque veo muchos listeners, pero solo Karen. I know Sarah is working and Karen is working. Okay. But I don't know. Did I see some messages? Quiero ver. Creo que había unos mensajes por ahí. Quiero ver quiénes dicen. Okay. Um, I can connect to the chat. I'm on my way to the American. Oh, okay. Sorry about that, Noe. Today I will not be able to be in class. I am working. I apologize. I apologize for your. T I well, okay. Uh, ¿Quién es esta persona que tiene un dedito así? No sé, dice no me podría conectar a la clase, pero no sé quién es. Buenas noches, estaré de oyente, voy manejando. Buenas noches, estaré de oyente. Guay. Miss, estoy en una reunión, estaré de oyente. Lala. ¿Quién es Lala? En estaré de oyente, dice Cristóbal. Ok, well, let's continue. Sorry about that. I was just checking. Uh, well, so that case, I know Noe Aníbal González López is here. Es el mis, es el mis. And then I have Noe Gabriel Pérez Martínez. He's not present, here. Miss. Oh, Who? Noe está acá? Acaba de decir presente. 
¿no? Presente, Adán. Ah, ok, Adán. Thank you. Salvador Orlando Veracruz Gómez. Sara Raquel Chávez Morán. Present, Miss. Sergio Adolfo Hernández Rosales. Present. Gisela Guadalupe Martínez Cruz. Present, Miss. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. Okay, let's continue. So yesterday we were talking about the present perfect, right? So we're going to continue today with a different topic, which is, uh, well, so actually we started with the conversation. Yeah, I can see that we started with the conversation. So that's what I'm going to explain right now. The conversation we had yesterday, it has some meanings, right? Like my stomach is killing me, I'm as sick as a dog and all those stuff. So these things that you see right here, they are called idioms, okay? Idioms. In Spanish, there will be something else. Uh, wait, say, listen. Okay, Gabriela, okay, Sara. Okay, so uh, the idioms, they help you to sound a little bit more natural when speaking. So you don't sound very like, instead of saying it is easy, this activity is easy, you will say it's a piece of cake, right? They will help you sound a little bit more native when speaking, a little bit more natural, right? So for example, so for example, when we are, uh, so like, have you ever heard donde fuese, haz lo que vieres? No, nunca han oído esa, esa, esa frase. Bueno, in, in English, it, there's a phrase that it says when in Rome, cuando estés en Roma, and that means that if you go to a place, right, and they do things a certain way there, y hacen las cosas de alguna manera ahí, you have to do the same, right? Because if you're in a different part of the world or in a different place, you have to follow the customs or the culture of that place. Then again, for example, um, when it's raining really hard in El Salvador, we say, like, how do you say when it's raining really hard? Se está cayendo el cielo, something like that, right? Okay, yeah, right, exactly. But in Spanish, that's, that's in Spanish. But in English, we have a different way of saying it. In English, we say it's raining cats and dogs. Okay? So like they are fighting. Just saben cuando pelean los perros y los gatos. So the sound they make. So that's why they say it's raining cats and dogs. Okay? So <laughs> actually, there is a fun story that I have about that Um by, oh, dicen, esa, you, esa tormenta trae hasta pescado. Ya he oído que... Hasta sapos. Hasta sapos y pescados y todo, ¿verdad? Cuando yo estaba, when I was little, with my cousins, eh, my mom and my uncle, they always say, va a llover y va a traer hasta chacalines. Decía, How it, ¿cómo va a traer chacalines? Y eso, <laughs> right? So, and they say that. But we were like, no, that's not going to happen. That's not possible. So the thing is, ellos no decían, put some guacales outside and you're going to see. Y ya se van a dar cuenta que sí. So we were like, okay, we're going to put the guacales outside. And we put them outside, right? And then when it stopped raining, my cousins and I corríamos rápido to the patio, right? And we were there and we go and, and see the guacales, right? We were like, oh my God, de verdad llovieron chacalines, porque nos ponían chacalines. They were actually, pescaditos, like shrimps. They, yeah. We were like, oh my God, it rained. It it actually happened, right? We were so so little. So the thing is, when I was 16 years old, listen to this, 16 years old, I was in high school, right, instituto, and I said, ya no llueve como antes, verdad. <laughs> Me da pena todavía. <laughs> Le digo a mis compañeros, ya no llueve como antes, ¿verdad? And they were like, what? How? Antes cuando las tormentas traían hasta chacalines y todo el mundo me volvió a ver como, uh, that never happened. I was like, yes, I remember that I went outside y mientras yo explicaba y decía, no, es que yo me acuerdo que iba a poner guacales afuera y, que, y después me quedé pensando. Y sobre mis guacales caían chacalines. Y, y en, la, en el patio y lo demás, ¿no? So, yeah, I was 
16 years old when I realized that que los papás mienten, ¿verdad? The father, par, parents lie. So, yeah. So, in English, you're, what is it? You're very innocent. I oh. was. <laughs> I was. I was. You're away. Yeah. Yeah, I was very innocent at that time. And then, um, remember, well, now in English, you say it's raining cats and dogs. Imagínense, tal vez hay un niño en Estados Unidos piensa de verdad llueven gatos y perros. So maybe they think they actually rained cats and dogs. Okay, so that is one idiom. And here in the conversation, we were looking at yesterday, we had different idioms. For example, we had the first one that says, my stomach is killing me. It doesn't mean that actually your stomach is killing you, right? Like literally killing you, right? I'm as sick as a dog in English means that you are very sick, that you're feeling really, really bad. Then under the weather, that is the meaning when you say like, I'm not feeling so well, right? This is feeling very bad and this is not feeling so well. And there's something going around like there is an illness or a sickness that is viral, right? Something viral, that what, that's what it means. Tip-top shape, okay? Tip-top shape, that means that you're in a good condition, right? That you're feeling healthy. And then we have take it easy, right? Like relax, relax, okay? Now, here it says, how to use idioms. Oh, no, no, wait, 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 wait. No practicamos la conversation, ¿verdad? Yeah, we didn't. Solo lo en los break rooms, pero no vinimos aquí, ¿verdad? Yeah, no. we didn't do it here. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna... Okay, I'm just gonna give you uh, five minutes to practice the conversation, para que la recuerden, just for you to remember it. And then we're gonna come back here to practice the conversation. And I'm gonna choose some participants to do it, okay? Let me see, let me see. Okay, let's go, five minutes.
Okay, let's have some participants to role play the conversation. Let's see, we're gonna have uh, Carlos Amilcar and Sergio Adolfo. Carlos Amilcar, you start, please. Okay. Uh, good morning, this is Mr. Ruiz. Hello, Mr. Ruiz. This is Jenny. I have a situation. Hi, Jenny. Tell me, what's the matter? I'm not feeling well today. My stomach is killing me. I'm as sick as a dog. Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Oh, really? There's something going around. I hope you are feeling better. Oh, yeah. I'm in tip-top shape. Take it easy, Jenny. I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot, Mr. Ruiz. Have a nice, have a nice rest of the day. Excellent. Good job. Let's give an applause to the classmates. Good job. Excellent. Let's just do a few corrections, okay? Matter, because you say like matter is matter, okay? Matter, stomach. That's it. Only two corrections, pretty much. That's it. Okay, good job. Let's go now with Edgar Edilson and Adam Antonio. Okay, Edgar. Well, I don't know. I didn't hear. But... What is? ¿Qué pasó, Edgar? I'm traveling this moment. You're traveling in this moment. Yes. Okay. Okay. It's okay. Let's go with. Um. Sorry. Let's go with uh, Adan Antonio, I said. And okay. let's go with Aníbal López. Adan Antonio, you start. Okay. Good morning. This is Mr. Ruiz. Hello, Mr. Ruiz. This is Jenny. I have a situation. Hi, Jenny. Tell me, what the matter? I'm not feeling well today. My stomach is killing, is killing, is killing me. I'm a sick as a dog. Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Oh, really? There is something going around. I hope you are, fe are feeling better. Oh, yeah. I'm in tip-top shake. Take it easy, Jenny. I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot, Mr. Ruiz. Have a nice rest of the day. Okay, excellent. Good job. Good job. Let's give them an applause. Just a few corrections. Matter again. Ma matter. matter. And shape. Shape. Okay, let's go now with the last the last participants are going to be. Okay, Jorge Ernesto and Daniel Enrique. Good morning. Oh, sorry. Uh, okay. <laughs> Good morning. This is Mr. Ruiz. Hello, Mr. Ruiz. This is Jenny. I have a situation. Hi, Jenny. Tell me, what's the matter? I am not feeling well today. My stomach is killing me. I am as sick as a dog. Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Oh, really? There's been something going on to around. I hope you are feeling better. Oh, yeah. I'm in tip-top shape. Take it easy, Annie. I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot, Mr. Ritz. Have a nice race pace of the day. Okay, thank you, Jorge. Thank okay. you. Excellent. Good job, you guys. Amazing. Let's give them an applause. But remember, Take it easy when you're speaking, porque a veces se nos lengua la traba por querer, like, say it fast, right? Okay, let's see. I am, because you said I am, right? Uh, on, under. You say going to around. It's just going around, okay? Nice rest of the day slowly so you don't make mistakes okay thank you very much for those participations you guys amazing now we're going to continue here with the next activity that is on page let me check 34 okay 
So if you see on page 34, we have another activity related to idioms, okay? So it says, idioms are words or phrases which mean something different from their literal meaning. For example, to be in one's ears in word means to have a lot of work. So it doesn't have to be literal, right? It is not a literal meaning. It's not what it says. It's figurative, figurativo. It's in much of what we are saying, right? So let's continue here. As sick as a dog, under the weather, there's something going around. My stomach is killing me. Take it easy. Can't afford to. That means that I cannot have the privilege to do something. Call in sick. That means to ask permission to be absent at work. And tip top shape, healthy. So it says, match the meanings with the idioms right here. Okay, so here is the activity. Let's see. We're going to see. So we have as sick as a dog. And now, well, let's, this is the activity, I'm sorry. My stomach hurts badly. What of these idioms means my stomach hurts badly? Number four. So I'm going to write here, my stomach is killing me, right? That's the activity. We're just going to match the meanings with the correct idioms. Wait, what did I do? Sorry, I need to send it to WhatsApp. I'm sorry. Let's see. Can you feel um, the December's weather already? Yeah? Yes, yes. El clima de December, it's so nice. No, it's very hot up here. Really? What are you, Sergio? San Marcos. Really? I'm, uh, well, here in Usulutan, it's really, like, nice. Really nice. No, here, hot. Very hot. Oh, my God. Okay, well, hopefully. What, so. what, uh, what area of Usulutan? Um, in Osatlan. Okay, I think that you are in Alegría. <laughs> no. Close. Yes. That going. It's going that way. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For this it's reason. On the it's on the way. Because yeah. yes. I work I work in Jiquilisco. That is really hot. Because Jiquilisco, La Bahía de Jiquilisco, it's like it's really hot in Jiquilisco. But the the food is very delicious. Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> a lot of seafood. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh... I'm going to open the rooms and you have the activity to do.
Okay, okay, welcome back. Thank you very much for working on that activity. Let's do and uh, let's see the answers, okay? So here we have um, the number one, my stomach hurts badly. We say that the meaning of that is my stomach is killing me, right? My stomach is killing me. Can you help me with number two, please, Miguel Cortez? Yes. Okay. What is it? To be very sick? Miguel, can you hear me? Call being sick. To be very sick, do you think that is the meaning? Calling sick? You sure? To be very sick? As a, sick as a dog. Ah, okay, that's better. Miguel, choose a next participant, please. Okay. Mm. Jonathan. Okay, Jonathan. Okay, teacher. Number three. Yeah. To, to relax, to rest, take it easy. Okay. Choose the next participant, please, Jonathan. Okay. Uh, Daniel Sifonte. Okay. okay. Not feeling well. Under the weather, too. Under the weather. Daniel, choose another participant, please. Um, Adán, Adán Antonio. Ok, Adán Antonio. Ok. In great condition. Tip top mm. shape. Excellent. Can you choose another participant, Adán? Okay. Aníbal. Ok, Aníbal. Number six. Yeah. Uh, don't have like to. Uh, there's something going around. Mm. No. No. Okay. Don't have time to. Can't afford. Can't afford to. Can't afford to. And this one you can use it with money and time, right? Can't afford to. Okay. Uh, Aníbal, please choose another participant. Sergio. Sergio. Uh, many people have the same the same thing. Mm -hmm. uh, there's something going around. Okay, there's something going around. Can you choose the next participant, please, Sergio? Uh, And... Jorge, ya pasó. No. Jorge? No. Hello. Number Upon seven. The number eight. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Number eight. Sorry. To phone the office to say you are a sick uh, is called in sick. Call in sick. Correct. Okay. So here you have some idioms that you can say or word phrases that you can say instead of using the same things that we use usually, right? Like saying, uh, I am sick. You can say I'm sick as a dog, right? If you want someone to relax and say, hey, relax, you say, hey, take it easy, right? So these things are better to say instead of saying the other things, right? They sound a little bit more natural when speaking, natural when speaking. Perfect. Let's continue with the next topic here. Okay. 
this is some vocabulary. Um, can you please read the first question, Gabby? You busy, Gabby? Okay. Um, please. Sorry, we have a lot of listeners today. Carlos Amilcar. Who is the person who fixes damaged equipment? Okay, thank you. And the number two, please, Miguel. Miguel? Yes. Just read the what question. What are some things? Mm -hmm. What are some pieces? Pieces of equipment. What are some pieces of equipment you have trouble with? Okay, excellent. Thank you very much, you guys. So these are the two questions we're going to talk about right now, okay? The first question is, who is the person who fixes damage equipment in your workplace, right? And what are some pieces of equipment you have trouble with, okay? Let me see. 21 hour. This is just a conversational practice, okay? You're gonna talk about your job. How is this in your job, okay? Okay.
Are you sleepy? Sorry, I'm very tired. <laughs> okay, it's Friday, so do you have and to the, tomorrow? And the and the body to know. <laughs> and the body knows it. And uh, knows it. Okay. And the night is young. The night is young. Yeah, that's true as well. Yeah, actually, you know what? I have to do something before when I finish the class. I have to go to a, how can I, oh my goodness, to a funeral. So yeah, right. when the when the night, when, when I finish this class, I'm going to drink coffee and eat tamalitos. You? Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to a funeral. Uh, do you know what is a funeral? Funeral? Yeah. Funeral. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. Actually, the nights, you know, <laughs> at 10 p.m., the funerals are starting, right? My body no support. I am Unra. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you are in the, you are in the, uh, what is it? Cuerpo decadente. Yeah, you are, no, you are in the arms of Morfeo. Yes. Getting close there. <laughs> okay, let's continue. We're almost there, almost there. Let's get ready. Okay, so here we have a conversation. And in this conversation, we are going to see some phrasal verbs. Do you know what is a phrasal verb? Have you ever heard of phrasal verbs? Phrases no? adverbiales. Yeah. Oh. yeah. So in English, there are some verbs that have meaning by themselves, but sometimes we need to add a prep, I mean, a conjunction or a preposition to make it a verb. For example, when you say in the morning, I wake up, that is a phrasal verb. Wake up, get up, stand up, sit down, break down, break uh, okay. up, make up. All of those things, they are come in go out, check in, check out. All of those things are phrasal verbs. For example, when you say turn on the lights, you see, turn on means encenderlas and turn off means apagarlas, right? So the same verb, but with two different endings on and off. So in this case, we're gonna see uh, some phrasal verbs here. You can see they are in the words in bold. So I'm going to read this conversation for pronunciation. If you have questions about meanings or pronunciation, when I finished, you can ask me. Let's go. <coughs> Sorry. Tom, I need your help. Can you pass me that spanner, please? I need to tighten it, to tighten it up. I mean, tighten it up. Tighten it up this screw, screw. Sure. Here you go. Thanks a lot. Look, did Kit clean up the room before he left? Yes, he did. I know he did because I asked him to switch off the power. <clears throat> Great. By the way, I'm sorry. Great. By the way, did you call up the electrician? The engine doesn't stop to turn off. And now we have a problem. Yeah, I think that if you don't oil it, oil it regularly, it will size up eventually. That's correct. Do you have questions? Size up, what do you mean? Size up. Size, size. Yeah, size, oh. size up. Okay, something when it size up, it means that it becomes bigger.
do you know do do, do you get it like it it becomes a little bit bigger El más grande. yeah but in spanish we have like sobar right i, I think we say something like that no actually like sobar de masaje verdad like um actually okay let's see if i can explain this in english listen it means that a machine in this context right in this context means that a machine is going to stop working okay because the parts of the machine can't move yeah you get it yes is the mean sobado como un tornillo como que no no funciona ya no se puede mover porque ya se trabó es como ah, okay. engranaje yeah like it doesn't work anymore ah, okay. <laughs> it's broken <laughs> yeah because of the parts for example Okay, listen, if you don't oil something, it will size up. Si no le pone aceite, va a ser eso. Como, como, I don't know how to say that. Like, um, it will stop working. <laughs> Just like that. Okay. I don't know. Let me check if there is a meaning in... Wait a minute, I'm gonna check. There is a translation about it. Size up, agotarse, engranarse, bloquearse. Como trabado. Exactly, exactly. Okay, another one? Pron pronunciation even eventually or, uh, or eventually? Eventually, eventually. Okay. Eventually. Okay. Okay. What else? Do you know what is a uh, spanner? <clears throat> Do you know the meaning of that? It's called soplador. No. In, no, the spanner in this case is the tool you use to, how can I say, so cut to tie up, to tie it up the, the tornillos or the tuercas. No? <laughs> so but, say. but no, it's the NASA. No, no it's llave, 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 exactly. yeah, llave, yeah. llave. That's okay. it yeah, that's what it is. And do you know what is a screw? Is what you use the spanner for. Mm, tornillo. Exactly. Well, tornillo, or you can say, yeah, yeah, tornillo. Loico, tuerca, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, I'm going to read it one more time. Listen. Tom, I need your help. Can you pass me that spanner, please? I need to tighten it up this screw. Sure, here you go. Thanks a lot. Look, did Keith clean up the room before he left? Yes, he did. I know he did because I asked him to switch off the power. Great. By the way, did you call up the electrician? The engine doesn't stop to turn off. And now we have a problem. Yeah. I think that if you don't oil it regularly, it will size up eventually. That's correct. <clears throat> I'm gonna send you the audio. Tom, I need your help. Can you pass me that spanner, please? I need to tighten it up this screw. Sure, here you go. Thanks a lot. Look, did Kit clean up the room before he left? Yes, he did. I know he did because I asked him to, to switch off the power. Great. By the way, did you call up the electrician? The engine doesn't stop to turn off. But now we have a problem. Yeah, I think that if you don't 
oil it regularly, it will size up eventually. That's correct. Eventually or eventually, both ways is correct. Okay, so we're gonna practice this pronunciation. Remember, for example, if you say here, don't oil it, no, don't say it like that. Say it all together, don't oil it, et, et, like this is like et, don't oil it. Okay, if you don't oil it. I need your help. Can you pass me? Are you listening? Can, can you repeat regular, regularly? Regu, regu, wait, ya me confundí como lo dijo usted. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me see. If you don't oil it regularly, regularly. 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 Yeah. Regularly. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me see if we are good. Oh my God, I'm sending a lot of oyentes to the same room. Mm -mm, that is not correct. Oh my God, a lot of oyentes today, my goodness. It's because it's Friday and the body knows it. <laughs> Let's go, you guys. Oh, I'm gonna send you the screenshot.
Karen, hello. Hi, Liz. You are with us now, ya está con nosotros? Yes, but uh, I, I have oh, with my cell phone and I try to, to con los compañeros del grupo. Yeah, I'm going to send you to break a room one, okay? No, no, no. Oh. I have, ya estoy con un grupo, pero es que me conecté también de la compu. Ok, pero por eso la mandé al mismo grupo. Ah, ok, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs>
Jorge, hello, hello welcome teacher. back. You uh, work yes. you Sorry. in the breaker uh, room? Yes, I uh, have a problem, uh, electricity. Uh, I, I stay with battery of my laptop and internet by my phone. Oh, okay, I got it, I understand. Well, we're almost done, okay? We're almost done. So what breaker room were you in? And two, I remember. Okay, la decise porque nadie estaba platicando ahí, así que lo voy a mandar a otra, okay? <laughs> okay. Quiero ver si con las tarjetas puedo pagar el recibo del. Porque vence el martes y no tengo efectivo. Oh, sí, se puede. Pago el servicio, ahí está. ¿No te va a qué? ¿Por qué? Ah, quiero ver. Pero ahí tiene el NP. Por eso. ¿Y me lo agarró? Gordo. ¿Me lo agarró? ¿Sí?
Be patient, be patient. We're almost there, almost there. Okay. I'm sleeping. You're sleepy? Yes. Ah, I bet, I bet, I bet. Okay, anyways, let's go. I'm going to choose two participants to role play this conversation. And because I was waiting for Karen and Karen is here already, Karen is going to be one participant. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. okay. good evening. Good evening. Hello, well, good evening, Karen. Welcome, welcome, Karen. <laughs> okay, present. <laughs> yeah, oh my God, wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. <laughs> I'm okay. just kidding. He said that. Gisela, can you participate or not? Yes. Okay, perfect. So I have Gisela and Karen. Karen, you start, please. Okay. Tom, I need your help. Can you pass me the spanner, please? I need to tighten up this script. The screw. Sure. Here you go. Thanks a lot. Look, did he clean up the room before he left? Yes. He did, I know. He did because I asked him to switch off the power. Great. By the way, did you call up the, the electrician? The engine doesn't stop the turn up and now we have a problem. Yeah, I think that if you don't oil it regularly, it will sign up eventually. That's correct. Excellent, you ladies. Very thank you very much. That was good. Let's give the ladies an applause. Excellent. <laughs> oh my god, I have only two cameras today. Jorge and Karen. The other ones, I don't know where they are. Okay, anyways, let's go with the last attendance because it's time already. Adán Antonio Ramirez Aguirre. Present. Carlos Amilcar Campos Palencia. Present. Daniel Enrique Sifontes Perdomo. Present. Edgar Edilson Reyes Portillo. Present, Miss. Edwin Alexis Perez Hernández. Esmeralda del Rosario Portillo García. Gabriela Yamilet Ramírez Siciliano. Present. Jonathan Stanles Pérez López. Present, Miss. Jorge Ernesto López Rivera. Present. Así. Ernesto Alemán García. Karen Berenice Castro Avelar. Present, Miss. Marco Antonio Vanegas Corlat Corleto. Present, Miss. Mario Antonio Reyes Berganza. Mario Cristóbal Quintanilla. Marlon Fabricio Flores Vargas. Marvin Enrique Arguello Joaquín. Mauricio Antonio Rivera Rojas. Present. Miguel Ángel Cortés Campos. Present, Noé Aníbal González López. Present, Miss. Noé Gabriel Pérez Martínez. Salvador Orlando Veracruz Gómez. Sara Raquel Chávez Morán. Present, Miss. Sergio Adolfo Hernández Rosales. Present, Miss. Y Gisela Guadalupe Martínez Cruz. Okay. Remember, you guys, please try to finish the platform, the section three. Because today I'm going to update the grades. Okay. Present teacher. Oh, he said, I'm sorry. I didn't mention you. Okay. Mm, I don't hear, but let me don't see. Worry. Let me see. So he said, Guadalupe Martinez Cruz. I think I mentioned you. But, uh, yes. Yeah, I did. Okay. Excellent. You guys have a good night. Have a good weekend. And I will see you on Monday again. Okay. 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 Bye. 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 Have a good weekend. God bless you. Have a good weekend. Bye-bye.